Welcome to the channel. How can you use proxies efficiently? Let's take a deep dive into proxy for you and multi login to see how it's all set. All right, everyone. So if you're looking to upgrade your proxy game, which I know you are, then this is going to be the place to do it. Now, here's the problem. A lot of people don't know the difference between proxies and VPNs. So I'm going to break that down for you. I'm going to break down where you can find the best proxies. I'm going to break down how you can utilize them. Now, the first thing to know is the difference between proxies and VPNs. So VPN is a way to mask yourself while you're surfing. You want to watch a sporting event in another country, VPNs are good. You want to do a little bit of surfing, well, you can change your location. But eventually, as an entrepreneur or somebody who wants to make money online, you're going to want to do more than just surf. You're going to want to utilize data. Maybe you have multiple Facebook Marketplace accounts. Maybe you want to do stuff on Upwork or Fiverr or freelancing site. And they block your account or you have other issues. Or maybe you just want to do something in crypto and it has a whole lot of data and you need to move around and have an IP address that's sticky that changes. Well, that's where proxies come in. That makes not only surfing easy, but making money online and taking a look at data easy. But how do you do it? I'd say you come to proxy for you. It's got smarter now. There's different ways to do it. There's different types of proxies. And there's three main ones that we'll be taking a look at here. So there's residential, which is an actual physical laptop or desktop. It's like a computer that you may be watching this on. And you can pay as you go. That's the best part. You don't have to throw a bunch of cash down up front. Pay as you go and enjoy the service. And as you make money, which you will, because you're going to be doing this safely, then you can keep paying and getting into the plans. And we also have data center. Now, data centers are big, and usually sometimes they can kind of see data centers. Not that you can't use them, but I prefer residential or mobile proxies. It's up to you based on your needs. Mobile proxies, as I said, is mobile. So we can see here. They have different plans, and whether you're traveling, whether you're a seller, whether you're a business owner, whether you're an agency, whether you're a consultant, this is going to work for you, and you can get a free trial. So you're skeptical, saying, hmm, I'm not sure. You can start here, get a free trial at Proxy for you, and they also have an affiliate to promote as well. So first thing I would do is click Get Started here. So you click on get started and then you're going to enter your name, email, password and company. If you have an account, then you just go to login and we'll see what that looks like. The best part is you get 24 seven support as well. So something goes down, you're confused, you know, whatever you need, it's there. And these are ethical IPs. We're not just giving you some random thing on the internet and saying, good luck. That's the problem with just getting random VPNs or proxies. You need something that is tried and true. And we also have one gigabyte free testing period where you can play with that in sticky sessions so your IP address changes. So let's check it out in the back office. So we can see the back office here. You can see your dashboard. I'll have your username up here. And then you can buy specific plans here. The residential as I showed the data center or the mobile. And you can click buy here. Just put in your amount, total price, the quantity, and confirm. Now, once you get one, you'll see it on the left-hand side here. We can see residential proxies. We can pick them in whatever country that you like. So I could do it in the UK. You can exclude countries if you want. You can even have a rotation interval, and you can have it sticky. I like it sticky. just means the IP address changes. So Facebook is like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I'm not doing anything. We're like, oh, his IP and uh, address changed. You can think of it like if Facebook was looking to see or if someone was looking to see, hey, are you doing something in this specific location? Then you drive to another one. They're like, oh, no, there's no one here. So you can think of it like that. No, I usually keep those values here. And we can just save the configuration. And we're good to go. That's how easy it is. So I got my UK here. We can even set some target filters if we want. But we have the default targeting right here proxy count and all this stuff. Now you can grab the information from here or you can grab all this stuff to up top and let's see how it works with multi login shall we. Now this is multi multi login but I put two multis but there's a, a lot of logins happening here. So you get past website restrictions. I know a lot of people want to do that because they've got banned. They want to do multiple things. Moving a lot of data around. Keep it you know nice and safe but just some websites don't like that and they have the same information here 
residential, mobile, um, multi-account, and they have headless browser. You can definitely read this in your own time. They have the API, and they have good experts who can help. Now, what do people use this for? As you can see, a lot of different use cases, affiliate marketing, maybe you're gambling. You gotta hit those slots on multiple browsers. SEO, price, you know, you want to send a bunch of traffic to one place, so you don't wanna get caught. And they got all these awesome rewards. Yes, they're crushing it. So, I recommend you can go ahead, get a trial here, or just log in and get started. So, try for four euros, or go ahead and log in. Let's see how it looks. All right, so here we can see all our profiles. You can see I've made a profile here, and we can do a quick profile or a new profile. You can see operating system. You need to choose the right operating system. If you don't, you could have issues. So I'm on Windows. I'm going to do that. You can do Macs, Linux, Android. It's possible to do it on Android. Got the browser here, and then where you want your storage. So that's pretty simple, not to make it complicated. Then we'll hit custom, and we'll just simply go ahead and copy and paste all the stuff over from go login to here. So just to show you, got the login password, proxy host port, all that fun stuff. And we can see right here, all this stuff here. So I would just simply start copying this over. Login and hit copy. You can also copy it from down here, but let's keep it simple. Boop, login, boom, password, copy, boom. Then we need to grab the IP address or the host. This is going to be our host. Not hosting the party, but you can't have a party now. You have multiple proxies. And the port. Boom. And we just copy and paste and do in a little control C, con a little control V. Making sure it looks good. HTTP. Now we can also see that right here. Custom settings. And you can actually see all this information right here. Login format, what you set it to, the protocol. HTTP, HTTPS. So with that being said, we can go ahead and test our proxy. And we can see agent is connected, so that's good. That uh, You just come down here to check proxy. That's when we see proxy, check past, our location, and everything like that. And we can also set target website. You can do Facebook, Amazon, Google, whatever you're working at, Bing, eBay, and our starting URL right here which is really, really cool. And I'll also go ahead and create a profile name right here. Premaze UK, something like that. So I know exactly where this came from. And you can also add browser extension. So after I've launched it, we can see Google right here and I can see what my IP address is. Now I can take a look and see that I actually am in Europe. So that is multi-login. That's how you set it up. That's how you launch a browser really really simple and I'd love to know what you think of it so if you enjoyed this video smash that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos questions or comments let me know down below thanks for watching catch you in the next